Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Sunday budgeting day. I thought I'd talk about something kind of fun and I'd actually love to hear your comments on this. I want to talk to you about the 10 ways our family's budget has changed since I've been watching YouTube budgeting videos and also starting my own YouTube channel. Kind of a combination of both of those. I thought that I was pretty good at budgeting, but I really do feel our family's made some improvements. Let me get started and tell you how. Number one, groceries. Um, you know, I didn't think I did really horrible, but I have done so much better because I'm much better about shopping our freezer, pantry, and refrigerator. And we don't go to the store all the time. Used to be I'd go to one store, then at that time I had a Samus membership, so I'd get things from there. And sometimes we go to two stores. I'm like, oh, let's go to Trader Joe's, so you could end up buying more there. It could get quite costly. So there were some months, especially around the holidays, that I spent a lot of money on groceries. That's number one. Number two, health and wellness. I know I've spoken about this so much. I've really cut back on a lot of my health and wellness spending. I no longer am on an auto ship for some products, which is really good. And I really just don't feel I've benefited from any of the products that much. So I'm saving a lot of money not buying um, very many health and wellness type products. Number three, sinking funds. Before we just had a couple savings accounts. Now we have sinking funds. I've done other videos on this topic before, but this way it helps us plan much better. And I treat a sinking fund like a bill. For example, if I know that I have, let's say that I have a trip to go see my dad. My dad lives in Arizona. And I know six months from now, I'm going to go see my dad and that plane ticket might be $400. And say my daughter and I are going to go. I will start planning ahead of time and set money aside in a savings for that so that way I can pay cash for that. So sinking funds has been a lifesaver. Number four, I've really cut back on impulse buying and I ask myself, and I'm going to be doing a video on this, a lot of discovery questions before I purchase things and so I just, I just simply don't buy as much of anything. Number five, my online shopping, which I didn't do tons, has really gone down. I rarely buy anything online, which is really good. And so that is another thing that I've really cut back, simply because I use what I have and I really think about things before I buy them. Also, I may put it, if I want something or think I want something, I may put it in a cart, a shopping cart, and think about it in a few days. Most of the time, I go back and I've decided within 48 hours I'm not that interested in that item anyway. Number six, I use our charge cards way less. I know some people use them for rewards, but I do get some of my bills put on them. Um, I always paid the balances, but I simply don't use charge cards very often at all, which brings me to number seven. We have a cash envelope system, which really keeps us in check, it helps us plan, and I feel that I do spend less using the cash versus using charge cards and paying them in full. That's for our family. Each of you are different on that. Everybody's got to do what works for them. Number eight, this is a big, big thing. I reallocate our budget quite often. I'm constantly looking at our budget looking, are there ways that we can cut back? Hey, are there things we need to increase? How is our income? You know, I reallocate the budget and plan so far ahead for so many things, which helps us to remain debt free. Number nine, um, I used to do six months no interest on buying things. Let's say if I needed a new couch or say a new washer. Now, if we need something like that, I have my YouTube money. I save all of it and we pay cash for it. As a matter of fact, we bought my husband a new computer. We paid cash for it. Actually, it was refurbished. Um, new computer to him. And we pay cash for that rather than doing a six months or three months or one year no interest. Last but not least, number 10. I rarely ever go to Starbucks. I used to do Starbucks. A lot of it was free, but I did pay for some of it. I have a Starbucks card. It's very rare that I even go to Starbucks at all anymore. So these are the 10 ways our family's changed. I feel like we've made a lot of positive changes. Could we be more frugal? Yes, we could. But I feel good with how far we've come along. Let me know what changes has your family made since either you've started a YouTube channel or since you've started watching other budgeting channels, what positive things have happened in your life in terms of frugality? This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.